It's all right, just her time. Let her be blessed. Let her be totally blessed. Let her be totally blessed, Jesus. Let your blessing rain down out of heaven. And bless her, God. And bless her. And bless her. And bless her. Throw your hands up and say, bless me too, Jesus. I want to be blessed. I want to be touched. I want to be changed. The lines are drawn in 1993 for battle. We're going to fight. But there's only going to be one left standing. I said just one left standing. On that day. You believe that? Raise your hands. Let's adore him as Lord of Lords. King of Kings. When it's said and done. And it's finally over. They're the only one. Standing on that day. That he is the king when it's said and done. Oh, when it's said and done. And it's finally all. There'll be no one. Standing on that day. Every knee will bow. To the prince, to the prince of glory. And our eyes will see. That he is the king when it's said and done. Oh, he will return in a manger as a babe. He won't be hung on any tree. But the lamb that was slain for all mankind will be exalted through eternity. When it's said and done, and it's finally over, we'll be all on that day, every knee will bow to the Prince of Glory, and our eyes will see that He is the King when it's said and done. Oh, when it's said and done, and it's finally over, the only one standing on that day, every knee will bow. That he is the king when it's said and done. Oh, he won't return in a manger as a babe. He won't be hung on any tree. But the lamb that was slain for all mankind will be exalted through eternity. If you believe it, shout! Oh, I believe with all my heart that we are living in the hour of the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. I believe that this book is being fulfilled before our very eyes faster than we can keep up with it. But God spoke to me this week and he said to me, I said, God, you're fulfilling Bible prophecy. He said, don't say that. God said to me, he said, don't say that. I said, what do you mean don't say that? It thrills my heart to see that God is fulfilling his word line on line, precept on precept, just as he said he would. See, he came out of that grave. The book says death could not hold him because David said concerning him. 
death could not hold him. But God said to my spirit, I said, don't say that. I said, well, Lord, I'm sorry. He, and the Lord said to me, well, don't, don't repent. It's not that. And then I heard the voice of the Lord say on my inside, I heard the Lord say to me, let's do it together. Oh, there's more. I said, what do you mean, Lord? He said, well, how about that part where I said, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? He said, just go ahead and fulfill that. And I knew what he meant. He meant display that I had faith. I want you to know tonight, you're not in a dead house. This is God's house. This is God's house. Let every man be a liar, but let God be true. This is God's house. This is not a man's work. This is God's work. But I want you to know something tonight. Rod Parsley is a man of vision. I got vision. And if you think my vision was dull, you're wrong. And if you think my vision has been swayed by the marching armies of the assailants of the adversary and the antichrist, you're wrong. My vision is keener and swifter and sharper and more pointed today than it has ever been in my life. Two months ago, standing on the platform of World Harvest Bible Institute School of Music Ministry, I turned around, we'd had a staff meeting, and I turned around and the, the elders and the ministers were standing up front and I just kind of let them take the thing over. And I turned around, I was over on this side of the platform. When God speaks, you always remember it, it always marks the spot. And I turned around and I started to walk this way on that little platform. And I got about four or five steps and the Spirit of God said to me, and I wasn't thinking anything about it, the Spirit of God said to me, you're not finished yet. I guess I had been displaying to the spirit realm that I thought I was finished. I didn't know I was. But I mean, God doesn't lie, does he? I said, God doesn't lie, does he? That's your problem. You're always arguing with God. Just whatever he says, that's right. You understand that? He's not a man that he should lie. He said, I will not break my covenant, nor alter that thing that cometh forth out of my mouth. Woo, that's shouting material right there. Oh, tonight we're serving a God that will not break his covenant nor alter what comes out of his mouth. God said to me, you're not finished yet. So obviously I'd been displaying. I didn't know I had, but obviously I'd been displaying some way into the realm of the spirit. Somehow the devil thought that I thought I was finished. That's a dangerous position to be in. Don't ever let the devil think you're finished. Hello? So I've got an announcement to make tonight. I'm not finished. I ain't even started. I ain't done thundering on the head of the devil. I'm not done preaching righteousness. I'm not done preaching the blood. I'm not done preaching the cross. I'm not done preaching repentance. I'm not done preaching holiness. I'm not done preaching right living. I'm not done preaching the second coming. I'm not done preaching the rapture of the church. I'm not done preaching the baptism in the Holy Ghost. I'm not done preaching divine healing. I'm not done preaching deliverance from demon power. And I'm not done building this church. 